in this lecture we will look into a solved problem we will solve a problem to convert a vector from Cartesian coordinate to spherical coordinates so the vector is given at a point given by 2 4 8 and the equation of the vector is can be given as x a x a x plus x plus z a y so this is the equation of the vector so you have only this information and this information and now you have to convert this to spherical coordinates so this is in the point p is in x y z now you have to convert this into the vector at the point p which can be given by rho phi and z so the first step would be to find out rho which can be found out as under root x square plus y square which is equal to under root 4 plus 16 which is under root 20 which is equal to 4.4 .4. this is the first step now the second step would be to found out phi which is equal to tan inverse of y by x which is equal to tan inverse of 4 by 2 which is tan inverse of 2 so just a second I will find that so the phi in this case comes up to 63.43 degree and this is the phi which you have found out now the step 3 is to I have the z which is equal to which is equal to 8 and that is the same and now you have converted this point p to which was in 2 4 8 and it is possible to transfer it to a point located at a 4.463.43 degree and 8 so this is in Cartesian coordinates and this is in spherical coordinates but again when you look into your vector your vector vector will be in the form of ax ax plus a y a y plus a z a z this is in Cartesian and now you want to convert this vector in when you are converting this vector in the spherical coordinate system or cylindrical coordinate system it should be heavy in the form of arrow arrow plus a phi a phi and a z a z so there is a matrix which will which is you have to remember to convert this so the conversion can equation which we derived in the last lecture can be written in the form of matrix as a a a rho a phi and a z is equal to cos phi sin phi 0 and sin phi cos phi 0 and 0 0 1 and this value is x y and z so this is a x a y and a z so what is my ax ax is x so x is 2 so i will write simply 2 is here a y is x plus z which is equal to x plus z is equal to 10 and my a z is not present for this vector so for that case i will write simply 0 so i am not converting and this is my standard form and this is a form of my vector in cartesian so i have to remember i am doing the conversion for this so when my a rho will can be written as from this equation if I am doing the calculation can be written as 2 cos phi plus 
10 sine phi and I know the value of my phi which is equal to 63.43 degrees so 2 cos of 63.4 plus 10 sine of 63.4 and my a phi will be equal to minus 2 this is minus here minus 2 sine of 63.4 just directly putting it this time plus 10 of cos 63.4 and my az will be equal to 0 since I have calculated it will be 0 and now finally when I am solving this my a row will come close to so when I am solving it this first equation here and the second equation it will come up to my a row I can find it here in phi as 5.37 and my a phi is 2.68 now if I am writing it in the vector form I can write it from this equation here so I can write it my vector as in the spherical on the cylindrical coordinate system as 5.37 a rho plus 2.68 a phi my z component is not there because it is zero for this vector so this is how I have converted a vector from which was in Cartesian coordinate to a vector which in in cylindrical coordinate system cylindrical coordinate so so that's how you are doing the converge, conversion again it's possible to convert to spherical coordinate by remembering this conversion matrix and then for that you have to find radius r which is extra if you're doing that for a spherical coordinates